or if you don't know what your opponent's bringing to the table, you might as well bring him. But here we go, we're gonna be seeing Pokemon Trainer up against the Sonic of Conch. I'm very excited to see this because honestly, I think that as long as the Sonic approaches, he's really hyped. And honestly, I feel like Sonic's been getting a lot more attention recently as part of like Let's Make Big Moves. I don't know if you saw like Tony Z at Let's Make mm -hmm. Big Moves, but everyone was talking about it. Even like like Sam Sora was like, bro, give, kid was giving me the work. So maybe this character's got a little bit more than we've already explored. Yeah. We'll see what Conch can do. There are a couple Sonics and winners as well. I know that uh, 6WX is going to be fighting Fatality Ooh, uh, at some point during this uh, during this round of Phase 2 pools. So you want to keep an eye on that. And scouted here. Oh, that really, really deep, really, really low up air. Trying to find it to another one. He looks for the vine whip to come out up for uh, the third hit on that combo. Not going to find it. And now we see Pumpe trying to make the landing on Sonic. Dead even game right now. I love the switch. Yeah, no, in that situation specifically to get out. Very good look. A lot of retreating forward. Oh, yeah. A lot of retreating and approaching forward airs too. Does not want to give Khan any room Ooh. off this ledge. You can't, you can't come above the ledge. Just go to ledge. Mm -mm. That's what Pope wants. And Pope had really good coverage there. He noticed that, like, all right, so this Sonic is above the ledge, and if he misses this air dodge, I get a free kill. And if I with this forward tilt, I don't really lose anything. Mm -hmm. So great coverage from him there, and he's back to the Ivy Source. Certainly the Pokemon that he's most known for out of the trio. We'll go back to the ledge. Trying to put some pressure on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great switch. Ooh, looking for a backer to maybe scout a high jump coming in from Sonic. Not going to find it, though. Just conch being smart about it. I love the switch to Charizard for a lot of reasons here, but mostly just that uh, Sonic struggles to get kills, uh, and especially against a heavyweight. Uh, he doesn't have too many confirms unless he finds something landing with that nair. Ooh. I already see Puppe is like, all right, man, if you're not going to take this stock, I'll just have another. I'll just have another. And, and takes it the same way as well, too. Just that... Mm -hmm. And now we see oh, wow. just so wow. much damage. Will we see another four tilt? No. Puppe overextends and Conch is able to find that first stock. I like the idea of putting the spring right underneath the angel platform too. Just to say, hey, you don't get any invincibility. Yeah, no, I, I love it. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> see Mega Man players do that a lot too. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Him. Yeah, wasn't able to get below that platform in time to catch the, uh, the tech option from Conch. Okay, very Ooh. good patience right there. This is the hallmark of Sonic, by the way, is the idea is if I'm ever at frame advantage, I'm pressing that neutral B. You know it. <laughs> it's up close. And Shield, though, oh, I man. love how he wasn't giving him any space to work in his spin dash. And he yeah. was able to close the space, get the up B, and then take the stall. That's the big thing that can be a, a, a problem dealing with Sonic is, like, when he runs away from you, he's got crazy mix on his approaches. Mm -hmm. And Puppe just kept it up close so well. And that comes down to the fact that he wasn't really even using the Squirtle at all, right? It was almost entirely Ivysaur and Zard, mm -hmm. two characters that, I mean, obviously Ivysaur is known for that zoning game. But Squirtle up close against the Sonic can't really challenge those long-lasting hitboxes that he throws out. Whereas Ivysaur has very big disjoints. Charizard is big enough that if he trades, he's winning anyways. Yeah. And, and something I would think about, too, is Sonic is so fast. Squirtle's hitboxes are so precise. You'll be whiffing a lot more hits as opposed to somebody like Ivysaur and Charizard where you have much more forgiving, bigger hitboxes. And mm -hmm. you can probably get, uh, you know, more hits. Exactly. But we do see Conch going to Town and City, uh, a, a big stage in, in terms Ooh. of blast zone size. But we camping. We camping now. Uh, we we like definitely that. to be assured. Uh, Conch goes, all right, well, if I can't find a way to, you know, win on an approach, then I'll just take my lead and I'll try to play as best as I can with it. But Puppe forced to an early switch to the Ivysaur going so deep off stage. Yeah, you saw that. That was interesting. But hey, I mean, kind of looks like that four switch is working out for him anyways. He's actually got the lead in terms of percents right now. Ooh. Down are not quite quick enough. Trying to get a forward smash there. That's pretty laggy. He's kind of going to find a punish. Mm -hmm. ooh, coming out the forward air, too. A lot of aggressive landings when he's on this Ivysaur here, too, but they ooh. work out so well. Ooh, ooh, he barely avoided him. Speaking of aggressive landings, Puppe is definitely getting a lot of punishes on Conch's aggressive landings, especially with those forward airs. You're seeing ooh. it. Goes for an up tilt just to continue the juggle, and we're still going in advantage for Puppe. Oh, what a down tilt, too. He saw him coming up just high enough, Ooh. and then the Nair to scout, too. Kind of similar to how a Palutena would do it. Why did this guy stop playing? I love watching this Ivysaur, dude. Mm -hmm. There we go. Forder wasn't able to come out. Conch beat him Ooh, with a punch. Catch, now the catch. spring. Still gets back, though, with the, with the Yavon whip. Oh, and he waits out the switch, but still only getting the sour spot of that back here. Be a back throw at ledge on Town and City would do it. Four tilt as well will do it. So we're back to even. <laughs> but Pumpe hey, goes, why are you coming come up, up here? here, bro? I don't have to go to the spring if you're going to ride that thing up here. I'll just beat you up here. <laughs> it smacks him with that up air now. This is the first Ooh, time we've seen. That's the first time we've really seen the Squirtle come out, too. And it was, that was looking pretty dicey. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely very scary on that platform, and Pepe almost turned that around too with the Ivy. Ooh, great use of the disjoints with the back air. So safe as well. Great use of these Razor Leafs as well, just to keep Khan from doing these breakneck approaches. But speaking of breakneck, Pepe is taken off these stocks like he's in a speed run. Getting scouted here on that platform. No more room to run here for Khan. The platforms are gone. Just got to face this man himself. Ooh. Caught him on the runaway there, mm. too. Not the first time we've seen Concha beat Puppet to the punch before he can get a hitbox out. That time it was the Razor Leaf that he punished. Once again, waiting for the switch, getting some nice hits on the Charizard. We'll see if he can keep the juggle going. But man, Pape at a disadvantage has looked really nice. Getting that, getting that up smash though. Ooh, trying to find another one, but uh, that, that, uh, that down tilt's been working out really well for, uh, or that forward tilt, I should say, has been working out really well for uh, Concha. Mm -hmm. Pape with some really good reads on the movement here. Got those down tilts at the ledge. I thought he would be looking for some more forward tilts as well, because that's how we've seen him get so many stocks. You see him going for it again. There we go. Conch not going to try to overextend when he launches Puppe up into the air. Ooh. Notice that this character is not very consistent, but he's going to go now. Trying to find something, though. Is this a throw? Forward yeah. throw, yeah. Not ready for up throw yet. Ah, uh, Tennessee City's got those really yeah. tall, and, high blasts. And no, no platforms to assist you. Yeah, yeah. Let it stay fresh. And then speak of the devil, platform's coming back in. Definitely looking spicy right Ooh. now. And a big spicy back air mm -hmm. to take it. Puppe showing us another 2-0 on stream and flexing his stuff with that Pokemon trainer. And, and was the Charizard. You can't beat the Charizard. It felt like that was the best matchup he had out of all the entire arsenal.